It's a typical fall scene. Farmers harvesting their potatoes. But this harvest in the Vizocino region in the Czech Republic is a special one. The farmers are harvesting Amflora, the genetically enhanced potato from BASF Plant Science. The potato's pure amylopectin starch opens up new opportunities for a multitude of products in various industries. In the construction industry, for instance, the starch allows concrete to be used more effectively. Spray concrete adheres better to the wall. In the paper industry, meanwhile, the starch supports the use of recycled paper as a fiber source and provides a better surface coating for paper. Starch producing company Lukabi Amilex is based in the Czech town of Horaz Dovice. Managing director Ivica Puncheka already has concrete plans for the starch extracted from the first Amflora harvest. So the starch from the Amflora potatoes will be used mainly uh, for the testing purposes in different industries like paper industry, construction industry, technical application and so on. Around 200 kilometers to the east, starch is being extracted from the Amflora harvest. In 2010, this small starch factory is only used to process Amflora potatoes to prevent them from being mixed with conventional potatoes. Amflora has already come a long way. At the start of 2010, when Amflora was planted for commercial use for the first time in the Czech Republic, Sweden and Germany, more than 13 years had passed before approval was granted by the European Commission. Numerous studies had proven beforehand that Amflora was safe for humans, animals and the environment. But there have nonetheless been protests by environmental organizations since approval was granted. In Germany, anti-GM campaigners even attempted to destroy some of the plants. Genetic engineering is a very, very political, but also an emotional topic. There is definitely a need for educational work, both on a factual and scientific level. That's why this dialogue is crucial in order to emerge from this very emotionally charged and highly political situation. One event, however, overshadowed the debate surrounding Amflora. In August, BASF Plant Science discovered a small number of its other genetically modified potato varieties in Amflora fields in northern Sweden. This was caused by plant pots temporarily kept in the same physical space being mixed up. An incident which resulted in negative press coverage, particularly in Germany. Additional safety measures have been taken to avoid such a mistake happening again in the future. After all, only reliable harvest cycles can guarantee the success of the Amflora potato and other biotechnology products from BASF Plant Science. Innovations in plant biotechnology will allow European agriculture to remain competitive. Politicians have recognized this potential and are making a stand with the harvest in Mecklenburg, Western Pomerania, Germany. After all, plant biotechnology is a great opportunity. Here we have an innovation which has taken 13 years to get to this stage. For me as a minister responsible for technology and innovation, this is an opportunity to highlight the fact that this country has the strength and decision-making ability to pursue such activities. Of course, we also intend to make a clear commitment to Germany and Europe as a hub for scientific research. We want that this technology can be implied in the lab for research and development purposes as well as in the field. The fact of the matter is that nowadays farmers have to use methods which are both industrial and profitable in order to produce such large quantities, thereby combating hunger and staying competitive on the international market. In the Czech district of Vizocina, people have already recognized the competitive advantage. Jaroslav Michal, managing director of Pro Agro, one of the three farms who run the local starch factory, sees many benefits through Amflora. We believe that the cultivation and processing of Amflora will enable us to create jobs in the years to come. With Amflora, we have a good product in our fields, which enables us to make a profit and, for example, invest in the renovation of our starch factory. In the factory, the potatoes first have to be separated from particles like soil and stones. Then they're washed with water. In a rasps, they're grated to a slurry, out of which the starch is washed out with water. The obtained starch milk is filtered and dried in several steps. What is left is pure high-quality amylopectin. 
Ivita Punchika thinks that Amflora will have a successful future. So the advantage should be positive influence in the production of our uh, end users and some positive influence uh, regarding environmentally friendly production. Amflora is a good example of the opportunities that plant biotechnology offers. As a renewable resource, it helps to use starch in a more efficient and ecological manner and paves the way for innovative applications in the future. BASF, the chemical company.